Now we're going to walk through a quick tutorial to show you how to compute uh, a new variable from two existing variables. In this case, we need to uh, calculate change in weight, but we've only got two other, we've got two other weights. Um, they're dis baby's discharge weight and then their birth weight. Well, so we really need to calculate, calculate a new variable that, looks, that uh, is the difference between these two. So here we're going to go up to transform. We're going to compute a new variable. And let's call our new variable weight change. Uh, so weight change. And then what we need to do is we need to tell SPSS how we're going to calculate this new variable. Well, we're going to take the discharge weight, what the baby's weighed when they left, and we're going to subtract birth weight. This will give us a measure of how much they weighed during their time in the NICU. Then we click OK, and we'll see down here that um, a new variable was computed. We always want to run a check to make sure it computed right. So I'm just going to do a real quick descriptives. Um, explore, I'm going to look at weight change. Um, yeah, I'm happy with the outliers, plots. Uh, let's look at a histogram. If I'm gonna, if I need to check for normality, I'll go ahead and do that. Okay, and then I'll click OK. Let's see what I get. So um, here are all the descriptives. This looks about right to me. Um, no crazy. Uh, extreme values, tests of normality. Well, it's not really n normally distributed, but if all I'm looking at is a correlation, I that doesn't ha the the uh, distribution doesn't have to be normal. It just needs to be normal if I want to um, uh, infer to the larger population. But in this case, let's say I'm just happy with talking about the babies in my clinic, so it doesn't need to be normal. Um, you see the QQ plots, the detrended, and there you see I've got some outliers up there. So that's how you're going to compute a new variable. Transform, compute, give it a new name, tell SPSS how to calculate it, and then always check to make sure uh, it looks like what you think it should.